<clears throat> oh, how's it going, everybody? Justin here with Try Like Silver. Um, hoping y'all can see me just right. Hoping y'all can see what I'm doing over here just right. We are here to pull a giveaway winner, and that giveaway winner's name, just in case you don't feel like sitting here for the whole video, is going to be down in the description below. So if you just want to go down there and see if you won, uh, feel free. Um, for now, though, we're going to go ahead and get on what I'm doing over here, what the winner is going to get, and and I oh, oh, let me turn that off. I just need to pull it up for writing down comment names. Boy, this computer. Okay, I'm trying to go over here. Stop messing with stuff. Thank you. All right. So I'm at the comments here. I got some food cooking over here. What, what I'm cooking today is some frozen ravioli. Um, I did not make this myself, of course, because I am not that skilled yet, but we got some Andre's uh, frozen ravioli. Those need to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes at a soft boil, which is perfect where they're at. And then I had some extra kasuri cheese, which kasuri cheese is actually uh, cheese from sheep's milk. Uh, I didn't know that until I looked it up at the store not long ago. Um, but I was over there to get some Parmesan and I saw some extra harder cheese over there. I'm like, what, what's this all about? Figured I'd check it out. It has a really pungent, sort of a uh, funky smell to it. I added a little bit of buffalo sauce, this awesome stuff. I'm gonna show you all this just because I love this stuff, and it's best I can find. This is Jake's Grilling Buffalo Wing Sauce. Uh, by the way, I have no sponsors. I have less than 100 subscribers. Ain't nobody looking to me to advertise for the company yet. But I love that stuff because it's amazing. I just like telling people things I like. So anyways, we're on that. Let's go ahead and get to the coins that are going to be given away. Now, all the good ones are here in the back. All the ones that I've advertised before. So check this out. We got a 2009 formative years Lincoln cent. This is a Denver Mint. That's the Yukon. We got a 1984 S proof, uh, Liberty Nickel in good condition. At least that's what's written on there. That's I'd agree with that. I think 1973 S proof. We have a Roosevelt uh, silver dime. That's from 1946. We have a Vicksburg Denver Mint quarter. See, <clears throat> got a really shiny 2005. 1964 silver quarter. What are you? That's a 1982. That's just sort of in there. You're going to get that too. Oh, this is the Fort McHenry, Maryland, Denver Mint. And that's got a nice bit of luster to it. See what else? We got a Mercury dime. We have a Buffalo head. Or, a, I'm sorry, a Buffalo nickel. <clears throat> um... Also got a rather nice bicentennial in here. This buffalo nickel is from 1936. And the mercury slid down, and I can't tell what it is. And then we are also, I just don't feel like taking these out of the album. There's just pennies that are cents that I pulled out that probably might have something on them. Uh, one of them in here is a 1944 uh, wheat scent that is a that's thin. Chances are it was just an experiment that somebody did. Somebody put it in some chemicals, um, and that's what caused it. But you might know more than I do or more than the LCS that I got it from did, does. Um, and it might actually be a thin planchet. I don't know. See, we got 1956, 1980, 1982, and then just a few extra pennies that they don't have staples on them, as you can see, except for that dime, but you're going to get that too. Um, because I ran out of staples when I was going through my coins and I just sort of slipped them in there to keep them for the time and now you're going to get them. So anyways, that's what's going in the giveaway. Let's go ahead and start writing down some names, except I was a little more ill prepared. I was more worried about the food, mostly because I'm hungry. I'm going to stir this cheese up a little bit. We're probably going to season that up some too here real quick. So, here's my secret to cheese sauce. Before I get to writing names down, y'all might be here a little bit. Uh, my secret to cheese sauce is, 
and I was told this by somebody else, so it's not really my secret. Um, if you're gonna be using cream cheese in your cheese sauce, which I don't see why you wouldn't, but you might have a better idea, but if you're gonna be using a creamier cheese to help get the consistency that you want, um, what you're gonna wanna do is take that cream cheese, put it in with a little bit of your liquid, like your milk that you're gonna be using. In this case, I'm using almond milk because our milk went bad. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the almond milk that we have for our daughter. And, um, and then you wanna get that cream cheese down to the point where it's creamed, like it's, it's, it's whippy, it's uh, liquid, um, and get all of the clumps out of it. Otherwise, you're gonna be left with those cream cheese clumps at the end. And then you gotta pour a little water in and, uh, and whisk it real good and try and get those clumps out. It's much easier to just start with your cream cheese as your base and go ahead and do it that way. So we got about seven and a half minutes left on these raviolis here. See if I can gently flip these over real quick so they cook even. Yeah, buddy, good stuff. So I also was talking about plans for the future of the channel. And one thing I can't stand is when people get taken advantage of, um, especially for money. Uh, that to me is just so reprehensible. Like money is already this root of all evil. It's this terrible thing that we really don't need. So, I mean, we do need for right now. We need it in our system. Matter of fact, when this system no longer uses money, um, that's when I think we really need to be scared because that's just something that's probably been prophesied. Anyways, not getting into that right now. I'll do that over on the project, um, Alethea, yeah, on the project Alethea channel. But uh, and I forgot to have something to write stuff down on for names. This is not good. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna find a notebook. Y'all gonna sit in silence for a second because I still can't edit videos. Let's see. Hey, Pa, where you at? Ah, here we go. Notebook. Alrighty. Gonna flip way back here. And we are gonna start writing names. Alright, so our last comment we had Ohio Hobbies. Never laugh at issues that people have to deal with. Good luck, all. Um. While I sort of agree with that statement, Ohio Hobbies, because I don't think that we should be just, like, making fun of people. Um, I'm, I try not to be a bully, but I think there's times when all of us can end up being bullies, and we don't really know that we were being a bully. We don't, might not even recognize it. Just passive aggressiveness is such a big thing in our society these days. But what I would say to that is, yes, you know, we shouldn't just, like, make fun of people in their in their torment and their trials but at the same time we should never take ourselves so seriously that we can't laugh at ourselves um, when you take yourself too seriously that to me is just an arrogance that people don't need or it, it causes you to miss out on the opportunity to laugh which is the greatest medicine that we do have um, not only that but if you look at like Gabriel Iglesias has gone before, um, has, I believe it, yeah, it was Gabriel Iglesias has gone before a bunch of uh, special needs children before, or they might not even have all been children, they might have some been adults, but special needs individuals, and he was telling jokes and he was trying to be sensitive, and they got mad at him. So they're like, dude, we want to hear jokes about us. Like, we want to hear you make fun of our condition. Why? Because it is a serious thing. And it is something that affects a person's life, whether they're special needs or whether they have health issues, um, whether their ears get clogged a lot. That's like the fifth time that my ears have gotten clogged. Um, when it comes to that type of thing, I really think that we need to learn to laugh at ourselves more than try to take ourselves seriously. Because at the end of the day, we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We need him anyways, no matter what our condition is. So um, let's not take ourselves so seriously. Let's learn to laugh at ourselves at the same time. So that's me. So we got Ohio 
Hobbies. Yeah. This is going to be a while. Like I said, winter is going to be in the description below. And what else would we put all this in but a penny box? I love pennies. I don't know why it says pennies. Are we British? I don't think so. All right. Montana Treasure Hunter. Let's see. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's right. You're deaf. You can't hear me. <laughs> Glad I got another chance to win. Hope your year gets better. What you forgot, Montana, and I said this in the comments, you're I'm only I was only half deaf. Okay, I'm not actually deaf. Just half deaf. So Um and let's see, here we go. We got Michigan Mud Digger. So I'm just gonna put MDD because everybody knows who MDD is. MMD. MMD. Sorry, I started thinking about my cheese sauce and my ravioli back there. Oh, I can't wait to eat some of that. All right. Next we got, oh, and he said, well, it sucks that nobody claimed it, but it's cool to get another chance at winning it. Good luck, everybody. Yes, good luck, everyone. And yeah, it is sad. I went over to uh, Tyre's page and I put down, um, I put, I, I left him a comment letting him know that he won the giveaway and I just never heard from him. I hope that you're okay, Tyre Math Matthias. Or Matthias, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I think it's Matthias, though. And I uh, hope that you're doing well and that everything's okay. Um, and you have been in my prayers just in case. Uh, everything is not okay. So, next we got Will Hornbuckle. That's who's going in now. It says, hope your year gets better. Count me in. Thank you, Will. It did get better. I'll actually be posting a video about how to clean out your ears um, because I was doing something that I thought was, I did one thing and I was like, oh, I think I messed it up. And that's actually what I needed to be doing the whole time. So I'm gonna be pointing that out to you guys in a video probably right after this one. Coin Captain, Captain. Just saw you over in Bella's Dad, AKA Phil's live stream and Thank you for coming over and putting in your entry. Much appreciated. See, so seeing you at Phil's, heck yeah, would have would enjoy having that album. Thanks. You're very welcome. Um, let's see, what else? Cassandra Thornton. And she said, I hope you feel better. Thornton. Thank you very much, Cassandra. I do. Alrighty. Let's see. Next we have. Oh, that's not working. Silver Streak. Wow. Hope your ear gets cleared up soon. Not cleared up soon. Not for sure. Not fun for sure. Man, I can't read today. Try this again. Wow. Hope your ear here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Again. Um. Yeah. Wow. Hope your ear gets cleared up soon. That was hard. Not fun for sure. Count me in, please, for the second chance. The silver streak. And I got a timer going off. Hope that that did not just hurt anybody's ears. Now these look almost done. I'm actually going to go ahead and let them boil for the other minute that they need to. A couple more minutes. And my cheese is starting to thicken up some. What do I also want in here? Oh, I love rosemary. I'm just gonna add a little touch of rosemary. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of onion powder. And we're gonna make garlic powder. I don't know what it's at, but I Oh, something else I've been obsessed with lately. Basil, basil, however you wanna say it. I don't know which way is right. Oh, here it is. It was upside down. It's a little hard to see. A little garlic powder. And because I like the heat, a little bit of cayenne red pepper. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. I just keep whisking that up. I'm going to turn that heat back on low for a second. It just help 
cook some of the oils out of the cheese sauce. And let's see, we got Silver Streak on here. And next we got Marley and T. Now Marley and T, you've already won, so you're not gonna go in on this entry um, because you technically won as a part of this streak, but we do have the 100 giveaways coming up. And since you told me that you have not found any West Point quarters, I'm giving you that West Point quarter, the Homestead, and you're getting another West Point. So that's all gonna get sent out to you. Um, you didn't know that, but you do now. So let's see, we got, but she did say, you're so funny. Knowing Marley, I f or knowing Marley and T, just as much as I do, that, this sounds a little sarcastic, but at the same time, I was laying on, like, hey guys, how you doing? So, she could be serious on this time, I don't know. Either way, Marley and T is a great person. Um, if you can find, she does, um, she does put together um, those, like, mystery grab bag things, but when she does it, she does it right. And she cares about you and the money that you spent and everything so if you can if you can get a hold of her bags i'm not sure where she sells them uh, maybe i'll plug that uh on the channel for her later once i get that information again um help her out with those and those grab bags i promise if you get one from her it's going to be worth it because she's like me she hates people seeing seeing people taken advantage of by uh for money so, that's something i appreciate all right now we gotta fish these out I'm just gonna hold this right up over the pan. Woo! There we go. Beautiful, fresh ravioli. Yeah, buddy. This is exciting. Turn that off, turn that timer off. Oh! Let me not do this in reverse. And we're going to let those drain for a second. We'll go back off the burner. Mmm, that cheese smells good. Like I said, that Kasuri cheese is really funky, so I want to add a little bit of maple syrup to it. I'll bring out some of the sweeter flavors in it. That buffalo sauce, some herbs, and oh, it's going to be good. Alright, so we're going to let all that sort of cool for a minute and I'm gonna keep getting these names down I did not do Cal's name so we would do Cal Farman and I want to make sure that my phone is actually still recording so give me just a second yep we're at 18 minutes Wow I didn't realize it had been that long already. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, we got scrapping, hoarding, tinkering fun. Tinkering fun. That's a name. What is he? What does he have to say? Oh, yeah, good luck with the ear. Total suck it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad, but I feel I'm feeling much better now. Let's see, we got Victoria Roman Carter. Also, if you just happen to be over in uh in the live stream, I was just hanging out in for a minute at Bella's dad's, aka Phil's, um, and I wasn't responding. Uh, it's because I was sort of getting ready for this, so I do apologize if you said hello and asked me a question and I did not respond. So, my plans, that's what I needed to talk about. Alright, let's keep going. We're going to keep going with this. So, my plans is what I want to do, because I, I hate seeing people get taken advantage of, is I want to... Um, I want to go and take the Numixmatic Scholar classes. 
that are offered by the American Numismatic Association. And I want to actually use that knowledge here on YouTube and, uh, you know, in my local community um, to help people find out what their coins are worth and get what they're worth without getting mess messed over or get what they want, what they're worth to them without getting taken advantage of or told, oh, no, your coin's not that special. I mean, I could give you five, ten bucks for it. Turns out it's a 1955 double die obverse on a Lincoln cent. And next thing you know, the, the that person's turning around and selling it for thousands. Um, that would not be okay. I don't like stuff like that. I want people to know what they have. So, cutie cat. Let's see. I saw you in chat and decided to check out your channel. I hope you clear your ear. Thank you very much, cutie cat. And I did. Now, this video is out a couple days later than I expected it to be. Um, I might just stop making... Uh, I might stop making... Um, promises on when I'm going to pull it and it'll just be random. See, we got real ruler 2112. Certainly hope the drops help, man. Not a fun situation. While it makes me sad that the prize wasn't claimed, I'm glad to have a second chance at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad people have a second chance at it too. Um, really, uh, I am sad that Tyre didn't, didn't claim it, but now y'all have another chance. So it's exciting. And then we got Ed Booth, who is a previous winner on this channel, not for this series, so he's getting entered. But he has won a giveaway from me in the past, so he must have liked this since he's back again. Alright, Ed Booth. So, whoop. and I think that's it, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one refresh and just make sure that nobody else came over from the stream and decided to put in a comment real quick. And then, after that, oh, yep, there's the video playing again. And then after that, I'm going to make up this food and take a bite because I am really hungry. And then we'll pull our winner. So I'm gonna. I, what I want to do is take the ANA classes from uh, to become a numismatic scholar and be able to help people. But it it says that the program takes about two years to complete. Uh, I'm guessing that you can complete it faster and no no extra. So this is our entries. Uh, the entry box is closed. So anyways, um. Uh, I want to go take those classes and actually end up using that on here. But I want, as I'm going along, I want to make a video series on the channel teaching you what I'm learning in the Numismatic Scholar classes. So that way you can have the knowledge that I'll be the, the knowledge, the same knowledge that the professionals would without having to pay the cost. Um, but at the same time, you could also use it as sort of a preparatory class if you wanted to become a numismatic scholar as well. Um, so that's just food for thought. Um, I am, it is about $500 for the course, plus you have to be an ANA member, which I haven't figured out um, how much of that costs yet. But I do plan on actually doing this and I gotta find a way to raise the money. That's that's my big problem. So got some plates with some sort of uh, Asian writing on them it looks like. Oh yeah. I love cheese. I do. It's so bad for you but I love it. Alright so we are going to plate this up. I'm what you would call the world's worst plater. Um, I, one thing I'm not good at is presentation, like at all. It's just not my strong suit. So don't expect this to look pretty because I don't make pretty things very often. I help make my daughter. She's beautiful, but that's about it. And because I love cheese, extra cheese sauce. I'm gonna turn that off and for some color, a little bit of fresh basil on top. 
I didn't put any oregano in this, which is very unusual for me. But I don't necessarily like oregano and rosemary together unless I'm doing like every Italian herb I can think of. Here it is, people. Ravioli is sliding. Don't, don't, don't leave my plate. There it is. And that's my lunch. So let's check this out. Mmm. And it was probably going to have been cooked about a minute longer, maybe. Maybe 45 seconds or so, but. Mmm. And cheese sauce turned out really, really good. I'm happy about that. And the funk still comes through, but I still get all the other flavors of the herbs and stuff that I added. And the sweetness helps cut back on that bite a little bit. There's a little bit of acidity there, too, from the buffalo sauce. It probably could have used a little bit more buffalo sauce. Mm. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and get this winter pulled. Let's shake this up nice and good. Bye, good. All righty. I can't see, so y'all know, I, I, can't, I can't see what's going on here, so I'm just gonna grab out a name. We have a lucky winner of this album. Names in the description below. Who is it? Who is it? Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. Yeah, I think you were the last person, one like one of the last two people to put your name in on this. So congratulations to Scrapping, Hoarding, Tinkering, Fun. Please send your uh, info to me at triedlikesilver at gmail.com, your, your mailing information. And I will be getting these out um, probably next week. Um, I need to actually pick up some of the shipping supplies and stuff, but quite honestly, I should I should be able to get them out in a few days. But y'all know how I am with these timeline things. Um, I'm sort of I'm sort of like treasure turd. Uh, just takes me a little while to get some stuff to get things out and done. But it will get out in the mail to you. That's a promise. Uh, it's all gonna be set aside. Just waiting, waiting to get boxed up and head out to you. So, anyways, thank you again, scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun for commenting on the video. Thank you everybody who participated in this giveaway. I'll have more uh, coin more coin videos coming soon. I'm going to eat this lunch and then I'm going to set right back up and make a video on how to clean your ears out because you need to hear better. Maybe. You might not. You might have perfect ears. I don't know. I know I don't. I've had impacted wax like seven or eight times in my life. Um, it could be the metal in the ears. It could be a lot. Of, I, I listen to a lot of metal. So it could be that. Um, I've also worked in a lot of dirty environments, which also doesn't help. So anyways, don't worry, I won't actually be cleaning my ears out. I'm just gonna be sort of demonstrating and giving you that one tip that helped me finally clear my ears. So anyways, thanks again for being here, y'all. I love you very much, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. So have a great day, guys. Bye. And stop. I said stop. <laughs>